heavyweights. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Bad intentions is almost giving you the feeling here that he's in the opening round scheduled for 10. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Side to side. A good block. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Crusher's combination punching is working well here. Unable to score with the hook. Little head hunting with the left. Good work defensively by Crusher. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Good job landing three punches by Crusher. Right hand by bad intentions. A headshot block. Good solid right hand by Crusher. And that's the end of round one. Crusher's attitude of being effective and aggressive worked out well. His opponent is damaged. You're looking good. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead. Here we go, round two is underway. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Oh, good exchange there. There's a straight right hand. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Scoring well with that combination by Crusher. Nice work with the uppercut. Tensions has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Well played, straight right hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Bad Intentions is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Yeah. That worked out really well. Throw it off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Seconds to go in this round. 
Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Him? Made him miss, made him pay. And round number three is underway. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Crusher's punch is far off the target. Bad intentions is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Nice block that time, it was intended to the head. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Bad intentions is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Scored well up top. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. An accurate left by bad intentions. His right hand scores well that time. Working, Final minute of this round that has been nothing but two straight minutes of non-stop fury. Fasten your seatbelt. More turbulence ahead. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Bad intentions is got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Start of round number four. Easy scorecard to put together. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter-punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. There's the combo to the body. And now he scores well with a straight right. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Finish with the hook. Keep working the body. Seconds to go in round number four. Super two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Missed the target with that hook. Relax, relax! Good accuracy with that uppercut. Bad Intentions is showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy... I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer. No one, Don, has not been in their minds at all. Round number five has arrived.
bad intentions, has now got to figure out a way to do exactly what he did in the last round here at the start of this round. Yeah, and his opponent, hey, his opponent has to stay here. You seem to forget that sometimes, Joe. His opponent has to make sure that he doesn't do the same thing he did the last round. Solid uppercut. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Rusher's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Get the combination working, land both punches. Nice solid left hand scored by Crusher. Crusher's opponent is saying to himself, I can't believe this. Every time this guy throws, it seems like he lands. He's very judicious with his work. Yeah, and that's not by accident. You know, that's his temperament. He has that kind of temperament. If you went out with the guy, you talk to the guy, you know, he thinks before he says things. He doesn't just, you know, let his mouth go. He doesn't just let his hands go. He lets him go when he thinks he should. Halfway into round number five here. That straight right unable to connect. Look at that combination by bad intentions. Stay on the inside. One, two, one, two. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Right to the belt line. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Tensions is now having to deal with a bloody nose, and that can be a real distraction, especially when it comes to your breathing. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Bad intentions is defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. The start of the sixth round. Crusher's performance right now, to this point in the fight, has been exactly what his trainer has wanted to see. The question is, can he keep it up for the second half of the fight? Come on, Solid yes. shot again downstairs. Good block there by bad intentions. Crusher's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. Doing very nicely, staying way out of range of danger and utilizing his jab. And usually he's a guy, if we were talking about fastball, he's a guy who likes to be in the paint. Hit some layups, do a little dunking. Hey, he's got a jump shot. Bad intentions, his opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Crusher's nailed by a hook. A stabbing right hand by Crusher. Crusher's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Left hand came after the jab. Bad intentions is on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. That hook was well off the mark. Rusher's doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch.
opponent. It is frustrating as opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. Oh, keep your feet moving! Added tensions is hit by a counter punch there. Watch the hook! Rusher's doing well here with that two punch combination. Commits to the straight right. Bad intentions, his defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Rusher showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Keep working the jam. Active And he comes right back with a headshot. Good hook by Crusher. Targeting the left hand to the body. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Halfway through the seventh round. Uppercut. Nice block by Crusher. Bad intentions has got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. Keep moving. Keep moving. And left hook to the body. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. We count down the final moments of this round. And round seven comes to an end. This has not been a tough task at all. Rusher's been in complete control the first seven rounds. Teddy, he's up big on your scorecards, and not much has been asked of him. No, not at all. I mean, he's in great shape, and he's got plenty left in the tank. Good, solid shots with the combo downstairs. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Hit the body. Right to the body. There's the head shot, but he parries it away. Good return fire that time. Forward. Forward. Work the body. The left hand coming into play by Crusher. Rusher's really doing a nice job with that hook on the inside there, Teddy. I noticed his opponent squared up a bit. Makes for a bigger flush target. Well, yeah, there's a lot of service there when you square, and he's finding that service. The halfway point of round number eight. Rusher's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Nice two-punch combo by Crusher. Bad intentions is damaged by a right solid. Oh, and here comes the first challenge of his night. Down he goes.